If you're a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you're looking for more funding for your deals, regardless of what your hard money lender, regardless of what your local banker would say, regardless of your credit score, regardless of your verification of income, none of that matters. Don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the money and the funding for your deals in just a moment. Well, welcome to the show. My name is Jay Connor. I'm the Private Money Authority. And if this is your first time to tuning in to Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor, let me offer you a very, very special welcome. We are now celebrating our one year anniversary this month and launching the show. We're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of downloads and listens every month. If you're uh, listening on iTunes or Google Play, be sure and uh, subscribe to the show so you don't miss any of the uh, great content and the great guests that we have here on the show. And if you're watching on one of our YouTube channels, be sure and comment below. Uh, give us any questions that you have about real estate investing. We'll be sure to get all of your questions answered. Uh, we do talk mostly about single family houses here on the show, but we also talk about commercial deals. We talk all things real estate investing. We talk to new real estate investors that have never done their first deal. We have very, very seasoned uh, real estate investors that tune in and listen and watch. And we have amazing guests here on the show. And today is no different. In just a moment, I'm going to be inter introducing to you a phenomenal, successful real estate investor that just started a short two and a half years ago. He came into my world about two years ago. He's a phenomenal success story of one of my students. And now he is pretty much retired from what he's been doing the last 10 years and he's gone full time into real estate investing. And you're going to hear his story in just a moment. But here on the show, we talk about how to locate deals, find uh, discounted properties, even before other real estate investors even know they exist, how to you know turn over those gems so you find them quickly. We talk about how to get your deals funded, how to sell properties quickly. And even more importantly, we talk about the mindset when it comes to real estate investing, how it is that you need to and how you can own that real estate in between your ears so you can own a whole lot more real estate out here. Well, as I promised you just a moment ago when we started, I was going to plug you into funding for your deals regardless of you know what your banker would say and all that. Well, I've got a free online class. I'm known as the Private Money Authority, and I've been doing this business for about the past 15 years. I've rehabbed almost 400 houses here in eastern North Carolina where we primarily invest. We do about three deals a month. We're averaging over $60,000 in profit per deal. And so if you would like to get plugged in on funding for your deals, uh, regardless of what the local banker would say, I've got a free online class waiting for you to attend on demand. And after the show, anytime, just simply go to www.jayconner.com -E forward slash money podcast. One more time, that's www.jayconner, J A Y C O N N E R dot com forward slash money podcast. Well, on with the show. I'm so excited. I just can't tell you folks how happy I am to have as a guest here on the show, my good friend, uh, my student, he's been through uh, all the training that I have. He's got phenomenal success. His name is Ryan Saxman, and Ryan is now living actually down in Clearwater, Florida. He's uh, gone full-time real estate investing. He's investing in Florida. He's also uh, investing virtually. So if you'd like to learn how to invest in real estate, and you don't even have to be doing it in the same market that uh, you live in, Ryan can tell you all about that. As I mentioned a moment ago, two and a half years ago, he just started at that time his real estate investing education, started doing research. And since that time, I'm going to let him tell you in just a moment the kind of success he's had. I tell you, there's no weeds that grow underneath Ryan's feet because uh, since that time, he has also published and he's become a very, very popular author in this space of real estate investing. He's released and uh, had a book published, and the name of it is Don't Be Normal, Be Unstoppable. And uh, he was in the Coast Guard uh, full-time for 10 years. He's a reservist now. And he even now is motivating, inspiring, and 
coaching other real estate investors. He's uh, got a program that he now shows real estate investors how to do the business like he does. It's called Motivation to Millions. So Ryan's got a lot going on. I'm so excited to have him on the show. And he's going to tell you exactly how he went from doing no deals to doing a whole lot of deals in a very, very short period of time. So with that, my good friend, Ryan, welcome to the show, Ryan. Hey, Jay, how you doing today? Man, I think you can tell I'm doing fantastic because I got you on the show and my lands, do you have a story to share? <laughs> Thank you for that amazing introduction, Jay. I appreciate hey, it. Absolutely. Now you just quote unquote re retired daytime full time from the Coast Guard and you are now in the reserves in the Coast Guard, but you just recently got down to Clear Clearwater, Florida and got set up. You've been down there for a couple of months and you're in investing locally and you're investing virtually. So I want to go back. I want to go back to just about two and a half years ago. What was it that got you interested in real estate investing and why real estate investing versus, you know, other streams of income? Yeah, definitely. That's a great question. What got me into real estate investing is basically your return on investment. And so I like to say ROT, return on time. I didn't have a lot of it starting off, so I knew that I needed to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. So I looked into probably about seven different avenues in business, you know, and so jobs, if I got into a, a regular job, they were going to pay me 10 to $20 an hour. I only had two to three hours a day. I didn't want to get into that. So I looked into franchises, jewelry sales, drop shipping. Just a lot of different things, you know, and then I seen real estate investing. The video that turned me on to real estate investing was Ron LeGrand, okay, your mentor at one time. His video, how to turn $10 into $10,000 in 30 days. That was, the, that was the pivot point into my real estate investing career. That's awesome. So you did a lot of research and through your research, you discovered that the, the quickest way that you can determine to really get, uh, make a lot of money, you know, in a short amount of time is real estate. And I agree. I don't know. I mean, I just don't know another legal, ethical, moral, whatever strategy out there that can give you the, the kind of returns, as you say, ROT on your time. I mean, for example, I mean, as recent as this past Friday, two weeks ago, we had a seller, the owner of a house, contact us. They saw our information on Facebook and they had a, had a, they have a, had a property, a house, and they had to sell it fast in order to close on another house, their dream home that they wanted to buy. And so long story short, you know, it's worth 175,000. I bought it for a hundred. So in less than a week of meeting them, we got an immediately $75,000 in profit. So I agree with you. It's very, very fast. Now, I will tell you, in fact, I got, I, I got, hey, if you don't mind, Ryan, I got to share the quick stories to how you and I met, okay? Okay, for sure. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm here in a small town in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And so this, you know, past January, two years ago, I'm running along down the highway and I'm looking over there and I see this bandit sign pop up in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And it's got the We Buy Houses on it. And, you know, there's not many people that show up here in town that, that put out bandit signs. And I said, who in the world is it that's wanting to play in my sandbox? And so I called your number and you actually called me back. I mean, that right there set you apart from the competition because you call them people. And the majority of them don't even call you back, right? right? So you called me back and uh, we introduced ourselves to each other. And I said, you know, hey, look, every now and then I have to pass on deals or, you know, we might be able to do some business together. So I know on a Saturday morning shortly after that, we met at Panera Bread in Moorhead City and we visited for about two hours. And the next thing I know, you're coming to one of my uh, upcoming live events and uh, we started working together and we worked together for an entire year. And I'll let you tell that story here in a minute. But I, I'll tell you one thing, you know, people, uh, the, my audience that listens to the show, my viewers, the listeners, there's one thing that they always want to know. And that is, what are your daily practices? What, did it, what is it about my guests that come on the show? 
that set them apart from other people that just, you know, either don't get their business launched, they don't ever do a deal. What is it about them? What is it about you, your mindset that sets you apart and makes you different? I will know, I do know one thing that I recognized right off the bat when I met you, Ryan. And one thing is that you were at the time, and I'm sure you still are, and that is you are an avid reader. I mean, you read, 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 you know, all the time. So tell me about what, you, I mean, tell me about your reading practices. What kind of books do you read? And do you agree with what I'm saying, right? I mean, is that one thing you'd say that sets you apart? Oh, 100%. 100%. And, you know, to answer that question in depth is, you know, I actually wrote a book, Don't Be Normal, Be Unstoppable. I'm going to put it on screen real quick. And if your listeners are interested in getting a more than just a three, you know, syllable answer, I actually wrote a book in depth and that's really what it takes. It really puts you in the driver's seat and to see how I achieved more set, more success in two years than the 30 years before it. And what practices I utilize on a daily basis, because that is paramount to your success. What you do on a daily basis will define you as a person. Hey, so, Ryan, go ahead, go ahead and hold the book up. You hold the book up and show them. There you go. Don't be normal, be unstoppable. Ryan Saxman. How can they get the book, Ryan? Well, it's available on Amazon and also on the Kindle version. So if you go on Amazon and you type in don't be normal, be unstoppable, or if you just go on Google and type in don't be normal, be unstoppable, uh, you know, there's links all over the place to go ahead and get my book. Yeah, well, listen, folks, everybody that's listening and uh, either listening or watching, I'll tell you, Ryan sent me his book uh, right after it was published. It's a fantastic book, and I recommend the book to all the viewers and listeners. So y'all go on Amazon right now and just order up Ryan's book. And that's great because, and I know in the book, I've read it, you reveal actually what it is that you did, what were the actionable items that you did in order to attain the success so quickly that you did in two years. So let me exactly. just open up that, let me open up that question. I know it's in detail in the book, but take a minute or two, Ryan, and just tell, tell everybody, uh, you know, from your perspective, what is it that sets you apart and makes you different? Yeah, well, so real quick, you know, um, like I said, it's, it's daily practices. So what I did in the book is I actually went into my old life. I lived normal for 30 years. And, you know, the definition of normalcy is the majority of society. Okay, so, you know, the different, no, there might be a different normal in South America or Asia or Japan, but I'm talking about the whole of the United States. So, so pretty much I was living normal. You know, I would wake up, first thing I would do was check my Facebook page, check Twitter, look at the local Hollywood gossip, you know, and that's what I was filling myself with on a daily basis. And so I didn't know it, but I was setting myself up for failure before I even got out of bed. And so it's a mindset shift. Once you set your mindset, and the same thing is with real estate investing. You know, there's over $170 million in real estate transactions that go on on a daily basis in the United States. So we have all this opportunity passing us on a daily basis. We procrastinate. We're procrastinators, right? And procrastination is a dream killer. So stop procrastinating and take advantage of what you can do on a daily basis. And once you start doing that and you shift your mindset, your whole world changes 125%. So, you know, along with, not, not setting myself up for failure. I started writing daily affirmations. So daily affirmations is huge. This is a huge practice of Tony Robbins, you know, Russell Brunson, just hundred million dollar men, you know? And so I just practiced Jay Connor. Jay Connor does self-visualization, you know, a self affirmation. You know, so that is key to success, visualizing your success before it happens believing in yourself and then following through. Excellent. So let's give everybody a note 
overview of your success. So, uh, you know, we worked, we worked together for a year, right? You raised your own private money with us working together. You did your own deals. If you don't mind sharing, you know, since we started working together, how much private money have you raised and uh, what kind of profit and equity have you been able to enjoy so far? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, since we've started working together, I have over a million dollars in private money. Over a million. Excellent. Over Excellent. Million. Yep. And, you know, now that I'm in my business, you know, I see that as a small amount, actually. So we grow. We grow as people. You know, now I'm looking at, you know, I need another million. You know, but when we first started, you know, I was getting you on the phone for a quarter million to help me get that quarter million dollars in private money, which you did. And that was absolutely amazing. I remember that I was actually sitting in a subway parking lot on my lunch break, <laughs> calling <laughs> and saying, hey, let's get this quarter million dollars in private money. And we did. So basically, we started taking action on a daily basis in order to change our lives. Right, right. So, you know, I'm flipping home. I'm flipping five houses simultaneously right now using none of my own money. You know, and that's over $175,000 in profit. Right. And so, you know, I've flipped 10 homes when we were working together. That was over a quarter million in profit. I've raised over a million. And now I've actually gotten into the wholesale side and I created a, a program called Motivation to Millions. It's a 90 day program. And I actually hold people's hand and help them hold themselves accountable because that is key to success. You can give someone the keys to the kingdom, but without that accountability factor, it might not ever happen. Well, and you know that from your own experience on the receiving end. 100%. And I had a lot of failures. I had a lot of, I mean, I was sleeping in a, in a house on an air mattress for two weeks. I know you know that story, Jay. Oh, yeah. You know, and that was my very first flip. And if I would have quit, all the success would have never been there. So, you know, on, on, the, on the other side of failure is success. Well, you know, all of us that are successful, I mean, there's no difference between those that achieve their goals and those that don't achieve their goals from this perspective. We all have obstacles. We all have challenges. It all comes down to how we respond to those challenges, right? Exactly. I mean, we can choose to quit or we can choose to, you know, find a better way. I was reading on the airplane just this past week. Um, Carol Joy and I were flying to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, where I was speaking at an event. And I forget who it was. I wish I could remember so I could give him credit. But nonetheless, I read this new perspective on what problems are. And you're going to love this, Ryan. Problems, because we can relate to it. Problems are nothing more than unanswered questions that's what a problem is it's nothing more so it's sort of like a math problem it's just an unanswered question right so when the challenges when the problems all that comes along don't so folks don't stress out just realize it's an unanswered question and just search for the answer to the question and now you got your problem solved so ryan you are like a a marketer now on steroids as far as looking for deals and you know whether people are wholesaling or they're flipping or whatever we're all looking for the deals right we're all we're all looking for leads so given your experience as a real estate investor so far and what you're doing right now what is or what are your favorite ways to find the deals well you know, before we got on this meeting, you held something up on camera. And I want you to hold that up on camera so we can let everyone see. You know, I've invested $60,000 in mentorship. I've invested $60,000 in mentorship over two and a half years of my time traveling all across the country to get into high level mastermind groups to understand what I understand today as a real estate investor. And that postcard right there, that is marketing. Yep. And with so, uh, so let me let me talk to the camera. Will pick me up. So right here on the camera, we've got Ryan's postcard that just 
actually came in the mail today. So mailing postcards is one of your favorite ways to, to get respondents or get leads. So the postcards you're mailing out to, what are your favorite type of lists? Because there's all kinds of lists, you know, that, that we can get to mail to. There is, there is. So, you know, it is consistency in anything. That it all works. That's the secret. That really is the secret. I go to a mastermind group and they're like a high level mastermind group. And they're saying direct mail. This is what we do to make millions of dollars. Okay. Then I go to another mastermind group, high level. And they're saying, you know, Google PPC, pay-per-click. That's what we're using. That's, that's our bread and butter. Another one is, is cold calling. They have 15 people cold calling you know, in a single office and they're making millions of dollars a year. The thing is bandit signs, bandit signs will work. So really what may work in my market might not work in yours. My favorite is driving for dollars and networking. Word of mouth affiliate marketing is absolutely amazing. It gets you in front of the people that you want to be in touch with. So, you know, it's all about consistency in whatever you do. That's so really Ryan, cool I was going to say, Ryan, let's talk a little bit more for a moment about affiliate marketing. Uh, tell the audience what that means, what that looks like, and really how do you use affiliate marketing to locate leads? So affiliate marketing is absolutely the best marketing on the planet because it's utilizing other people's knowledge and word of mouth. And so there's companies out here that specialize in affiliate marketing, and they're some of the biggest companies around the country. So affiliate marketing is basically saying, you know, hey, Jay, I'm a local real estate investor. I'm looking for distressed off-market properties. I have access to cash, and I can close quickly. Do you know anyone? Now what you did is Jay knows a lot of people in that local market. He has family, he goes to church, he has friends, everyone owns homes and he might know. Now what you say is, you know what, I'll give you a 500 or thousand dollar finder's fee, whichever one you want to say. I mean, $500 to uh, just a random person is a lot of money. I don't know how much you say, Jay, how much do you say? Well, it depends on where the referral is coming from. Of course, you know, we're, you're talking uh, off market deals, not on, not on realtors. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to, I'm happy to reward somebody a thousand dollars for the referral. Exactly. So 500 to a thousand dollars. And that's a lot of money just for someone's, you know, getting you in touch with someone they know that's in a distressed situation. So you're looking for motivation. And that is why I created a program called Motivation to Millions, because when you find motivation in home sellers, it'll make you millions of dollars. So when you're doing the affiliate marketing, who do you reach out to to ask them to reach out to? I mean, is that is that like uh, is that marketing just to like your own personal Facebook friends or who are you communicating with and and how are you communicating with them? Exactly. That's a great question, Jay. So pretty much everybody, everybody, Facebook, family, people in the gym, people at your church, you know, when you go places, you know, I mean, uh, your local, your local RIA, your RIA, uh, real estate um, investors association, you know, and that's word of mouth. So it's the cheapest advertising but it really gets you the best results. So that's why affiliate marketing is one of my favorite ways to finding off-market properties. I got you. Now, one thing that, we, that I talked about in the, uh, in, in the introduction, Brian, is that you know, you are now real, you're now investing in real estate virtually. You're down in Clearwater, Florida. You're investing up here in North Carolina. And I know my audience is scratching their head or a number of them are going, how in the world can you do this real estate investing business and you live in one market or one state and you're investing in a whole nother state? How in the world does that process work? What does that look like? So Ryan, I want you to take it and break it down step by step. How can you be living in Florida 
and making money in North Carolina by investing in real estate? Two programs. One is Skip Genie. All right, that's a Skip Trace service that is very accurate. And that actually took me a lot of trial and effort dealing with a lot of different Skip Tracing agencies to get to one that actually works. So with Skip Genie, I get a 70% accuracy on their wireless phone number. That is absolutely amazing. And so Skip Genie and PropStream. So PropStream is a data aggregating company that the one and only Jay Connor helped me get into. And literally you can take a list from 60,000 people with about 50, uh, I think it has probably over, I'd say 20 to 30 different filters that you can actually narrow down that list and get in touch with people with liens, divorces, pre-foreclosures, high equity, vacant, out-of-state owners, right, that aren't on the MLS. So this, this, and you can take that list from 60,000 literally down to 60. Now, as you can see, what I like about PropStream so much is when you deal with direct mail, you can see why your deals are so small and in between because we literally have 60,000 clients, okay, of single family homes. And we need to get them out there to extract those 10 people that we can make a lot of money on. But with PropStream, you can actually do that anywhere in the world with an internet connection and a laptop. Then you use Skip Genie to contact that person via cell phone. So let me ask you this, Ryan. Are you, are you or have you got someone on your, on your team that is doing outbound calling now? No, actually, so I do that myself. It's so lucrative that I want to be in touch with these people first. You know, as, as with the, the real estate investor, you know, I want to be talking with motivated sellers. That's my job. That's what I want to do. So if I can narrow down a list from 60,000 to 60 people, then take that list from 60 people and say, you know what? I want 80% equity or higher. Then it drops it down to 30 people. I'll spend my time talking to those 30 people. Got you. So you're doing a lot of direct mail and you're also doing some outbound calling yourself. And driving for dollars. I believe that you need to have multiple streams. They're called pipelines. In my program, I teach nine essential pipelines to bring in off-market deals. So right now, as you can see, I'm not just doing one. You know, I'm sending out about 10,000 postcards a month. I'm talking with about 20 motivated sellers a day. So that's 600 a month. I'm leaving there no chance for failure, Jay. If you really, want to, know, if you really want to know what it takes, it takes a lot of persistence on a daily basis, speaking with motivated sellers. And when you can fill your pipeline in coming, you know, your pipeline filled with motivated sellers, you leave the universe no other choice but to hand you over the success that you're looking for. That's awesome, man. Well, you know, it's very smart not to be relying on just, you know, one stream. Uh, well, Ryan, man, you're amazing. You've got an amazing story. I can't believe the time's already gone by. So I know that my audience, viewers and listeners are going to want to continue the conversation and connect with you. So uh, give out what's the best way uh, to connect with you. Hold your book up again so they can see that. But uh, how can folks uh, connect with you, Ryan? Very easily. So literally, you can just Google Ryan Saxman. If you see a bunch of, you know, this smile, if you see the smile pop up everywhere, just click on a link. But you can go to www.motivate, the number two, and then mill, mill.com. You can reach me at that. You can reach me on Facebook at Motivation and Millions. You can reach me on Facebook on my social site. You know, I'm close up to 5,000 people, but if you're a good person, you're looking to change your life in real estate investing, I'll definitely add you as a friend. And email, you can email me at ryansaxman789 at gmail.com. That's awesome. And your website, one more time, it's www, one more time. Yeah, so that's uh, www.motivate, the number two, and then mill, M-I-L-L dot com. So there, so so there is two L's, M-I-L-L. -L. Yes, so it's motivated to mill with two Excellent. L's, 
Ryan.com. Well, Ryan, as we're getting ready to close out this show, if there's only one piece of advice you could give to someone that's never done a real estate investing deal, what would it be? Mm. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't thinking you're going to ask me that question. So let me think, cause you know, I definitely want to provide value. You know, I would say that it does exist, that it does exist and be persistent when chasing success. I love it. I love it. Ryan, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It was a pleasure. It was all mine. All right, man. Okay, folks, thanks for joining in. Again, if you are listening on iTunes or Google Play, be sure to uh, subscribe and rate and review. In fact, uh, just recently, a few months ago, we made it uh, on uh, iTunes to new and noteworthy, so we appreciate all the reviews. And uh, again, if you are watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and uh, also in comment. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. And here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. We'll see you on the next show. Bye for now.